very good morning to all of you who have joined. I hope some of you are still left uh, for joining. But now we can't wait more than 10 minutes for everybody to join. We have already given the time uh, as per the schedule we are moving. Uh, so for now, uh, I welcome all the participants for the day four program. And today we have uh, the first session is, uh, about animation uh, in education. So basically, uh, what is animation? We are going to understand what are the types of animation. We are going to understand all those details that the process we are going to see, look at it, how uh, the animation process takes place. And after this orientation of on an uh, animation, we will be moving towards uh, creating animation through one of the software, one of the application, mobile application. So for this session today, we have with Mr. Uh, we have with us Mr. Ayush. I hope uh, you are here. Yes, I'm here. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Can we start? Uh, good morning and welcome to you. Uh, the session is over to you, sir, for the session. Great. So uh, good morning, everyone. Is my voice clear? Yes. Yes. So uh, I'm just going to share my screen, then we can take up, take it from there. Uh, can you all see the screen? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, great. So today we'll be talking about animation and we'll be talking about specifically about animation and its uses in education. Okay, this is a very interesting topic and this has got a lot of potential for teachers, for everyone in fact, and this is a very interesting topic also. So, you know, there's a lot that can be achieved by animation. And so I would really request you all to pay attention and enjoy the session. It's not a very difficult session, but this is very informative, right? Now, uh, just a few things before we start. First is that uh, we would like this to be an open session where you all can participate and you all are free to use the chat and you can in fact, you know, you can in fact go ahead and uh, correct me if you feel, if you want to add any, any add anything to it, if you want to add, subtract, because we feel that when you add and subtract knowledge, the knowledge multiplies right so uh, please go ahead raise hands use chat and animation is no rocket science you see it is something that we've all been seeing for ages now for almost 100 years animation has been with us and we've all seen television and tv and we all know how things work uh, what they look like so uh, you know a lot of things that we'll be talking about they you might be knowing them already so you'll have to just cut some slack there and be patient and uh, listen to it. And some of the things that we'll be covering will be actually high, high school uh, science and mathematics also. So that also we have all, all of us have uh, studied them. Our, uh, our uh, teachers from the science and the maths background would know them already and the rest of them can also revise them, right? And like I said, we'll be arriving at answers together. So I would really want you all to participate and uh, use the chat very freely, okay? So uh, let's start. Uh, we'll be basically talking about different, uh, we'll be talking about these things. We'll be talking about why animation is required in education. Uh, then the next thing we'll be talking about is what is animation, types of animation, steps to design an educational animation, and then finally, we can have a question answer session uh, of although you are welcome to continue, you know, uh, the, the chat also, right? So before we move ahead, let's just watch a small, uh, a small video, which has some animations that will, uh, it's a small video, which has a lot of snippets of different types of animations. So this will give you an, uh, an example of what all is possible with animation and it will tell you what all we are, what we are getting into, right? So watch this carefully and then we'll discuss it. 
okay here it is समय की बात है करता था गब्बर आराम तभी वहां पे पुलिस आ धमकी कर uh somebody saying sound is not coming is that uh, is that how it is uh no no sound is okay uh, okay. At, uh yes okay. yes it is okay. fine i think uh you can just check the sound Sorry? of your system no i'm just telling the participant that they can check the sound on their system once okay okay choose to do something which benefits everyone around you it begins to show and the kindness spreads mushkil mein ho pashu malik pashu pe ho atyachar to a new life of freedom but two centuries of colonial rule had decayed india from within leaving the country ridden with poverty and hunger our founding fathers set out to wipe every tear from every eye they needed a pole star that single focal point to make india modern and progressive something that captured the uniqueness of the chaotic but eternally hopeful nation okay so what we saw was uh, what we saw were different types of uh, animations and i have personally been a part of some of these projects and they were different types so we'll just uh, quickly just check what types they were so this one the first one it was it is called as a typographic animation type means text so anything which has a text based animation is a typographic animation uh then the next one that we covered this one is a 2d animation this one this is a 2d animation we'll be uh, checking what what 2d basically means this is a 3d animation with 2d characters okay then this is again a 2d animation but we have next this is another 2d animation but this is slightly more elaborate with some work of 
uh, on lighting and if fx this is called fx this thing right and then uh, this one is a 3d photorealistic animation you might say what is animated here so the sparrow that we see here it's actually an animation right see watch this uh, okay let's just So this sparrow next to this man is actually animated and same is true with this squirrel. The squirrel is actually computer generated. It's a CG squirrel. It's not a real squirrel. So these are, these are also called photorealistic animations. And the finally that we saw here, this is from a film. This is a gaming sequence inside a Hindi film. Uh, so this is actually because it's a game so this is hyper realistic what is meant by hyper realistic is that it is realistic but things have become have been uh, slightly exaggerated the reflections the movements they are all slightly more than what they are in the real life okay so look look at how the scooter is shining how the different services are shining so this is a hyper realistic animation uh, moving on so we'll be we'll be talking about different types of animations next but before that let's just see let's just understand why do you think animation is required what is the advantage of animation is there any uh, anything uh, you think about that any 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 inputs from your side yes sir okay to make the content more uh, interesting sir yeah, yeah. So why don't we use the chat? Because if everyone starts talking, it you know it will just be a little difficult. Yes, it draws attention and interest. That is correct. And what more? That's correct. Moving bodies do attract people. Yes, and it makes the presentation lively. Yes. It visualizes the entire concept. It helps the audience to imagine better. It makes the class learn centered to make content more lively, attractive and imaginative. There is just very nice, good answers. So I'll tell you what I felt when I started thinking about this. Why, why animation is required? Why, why animation? What is the advantage of animation? So I felt that it lightens the mood, right? It lightens the mood. Why? Because, uh, you know, there's a convention that we have been watching cartoons since we were young and there's a convention that cartoons have got associated with something which is light-hearted something which is comic and therefore when we, whenever we see something animated it just automatically has a uh, it tends to lighten our mood then it attracts attention easily you know when we see elephants fly when we see impossible things happening so it does attract attention and then it depicts different topics you know it is uh, sometimes there are topics which are actually it's not about the mood but it is about physically when it is difficult to depict something you know like a surgical procedure if we are if you want to teach the doctors how to replace a knee for example we cannot get a patient every time so why not do it with an animation so that is one one, one use of animation another thing is that you know, it can depict things which are not real, things which are fantasy based, which are mythological, you know, like uh, I personally feel that anything that we can imagine is real. That is what Picasso said. Anything you imagine is real. So it is real because it, it exists in your mind. It exists somewhere. So it is real. Right. But to depict it, to shoot it to, on a video, it is very difficult. So to, to shoot those things with these higher realities, so to say, we can use animation. Okay. Uh, so what exactly is animation? We all now we know what animation can does, but let's just start with defining animation. What do you feel? What do you mean by animation? Any inputs? Any inputs on what is meant by animation what do you what do you mean by animation 
Anyone? Right. It means moving objects, moving images. It means pictures to moving images. These are so accurate answers. I'm so surprised and I'm so happy, you know. So that is actually a very, very correct answer that it means dynamics. Yes, it does mean dynamics. Dynamic is anything that is moving is dynamic. So what is meant by animation is actually a lot of people think that it is cartoons, it is graphics and it is moving pictures, which is all correct. All of these things are correct, you know, but when you want to define something mathematically, when you want to define something precisely, then the definition of animation is it is a method in which figures are manipulated to appear as moving images, right? Are they actually moving? Is there anything actually moving in animation? Because animation is happening on a screen. The screen is right there. Nothing is really moving, you know. It's just a picture. It's just a picture. And so when I say nothing is moving, what I meant, what I what do I mean? I mean, see, there is something called persistence of vision. Hmm. This is the principle on which all animation and all films, all videos, they work. They work on the principle of persistence of vision. What is persistence of vision? Persistence of vision is, see, we all know that this is what our eye looks like. Okay, this is a cross section of our eye. What we see here is a lens. This is, this is the lens and there is a screen behind it, which is called retina. So on the retina, whatever is front of the eye, an image of that gets formed on the retina and then there is this small you know this pathway that we see this is actually the nerve it's an optical nerve which takes the takes the message the signal from the retina to the brain and the brain of course is trained to manage it okay so uh, this is what the eye looks like and this is how the images are formed on the eye whatever is in front of it you know it just goes through this convex lens and there is an inverted image formed and that image goes to the brain now the image you know it stays on the retina for a very small time it is neither permanent nor temporary it is not permanent because it doesn't stay forever and it is not temporary also because it is not like it just goes even the even when the tree is gone it just stays for a little bit little bit time okay and it is if during that time you know if during that time we move we move the image our brain will think that the new image and the older image it will just superimpose them and it will understand that the image has moved that something has moved see so this is what the the simplest in the simplest possible way in the simplest possible terms the the, the what animation looks like is this what we do is basically this on the screen we show an image okay then when we then we remove the image but the image stays on our brain in the retina for just that little bit of time. During that time, we show a new image which is slightly moved or slightly different from the earlier image. Not drastically different, just a little bit different. So when we do this, the brain thinks that the first image has moved to the second place. The object has moved. And we continue to repeat this time and again and again and again and again and our brain thinks that things are moving okay this is the principle of persistence of vision which is used in films which is used in videos which is used in animation uh, later on you will be working on you know uh, you can actually take a lot of photographs and you can have those photographs which are slightly different from each other and you can you know if you if there is a way to watch them very quickly next to each other you can actually see them you know move there is one technology where you know this is possible we'll just see an example of that this is what it looks like just 
let's watch it and then we'll discuss what this is okay here it goes So somebody has very correctly mentioned that this is a flip book, which is so right. You know, you guys are so amazing. It's such a it's such a blessing to have an audience so enlightened. You already know everything. So uh, what is happening here is this is basically a flip book. This is a book, and you see somebody. Uh, you can see a thumb here. A thumb is holding a book. Every page of that book has got an image which is slightly different from the previous image okay just slightly if it is too much different then we have a problem so it is just slightly different same colors same shapes same way and it just moves slightly and when we watch it uh, in quick succession we feel that things are moving using this principle we can virtually show anything and this Flipbook, you know, it actually predates animation. So flipbooks were made even before television screens came and even before animation actually happened. So flipbook is actually the, you can, one can, one can say it is the mother of animation. Okay. So, uh, you know, flipbooks, you all can also make. It's very easy to make. It doesn't have to be so elaborate. Sound problem, somebody is saying. Is my voice clear? Can somebody yes. Hello? Yes, yes, your sound is okay. Okay, okay, thank you. So, you know, you can actually make a flip book. It doesn't have to be so elaborate. You can use matchstick figures. You can just use circles and drawings and you can actually make things move. You can show scientific diagrams where, you know, you can show working of um, heart or maybe, you know, how a pulley works. You can just make things move slightly. It's just a series of diagrams. Okay. Now, moving on, we'll be actually, you know, you will actually be uh, working on a software also, uh, which is in the coming sessions, you will be learning it. It's actually called Stop Motion Studio, where you can make, you can actually take a lot of photographs, which are, you know, slightly, slightly different from each other. And the software will just stitch them together into a video and you can use that to uh, make small videos for your uh, students okay so this is the basic principle now moving on types of animations there are different types of animations and uh, the first one is the 2d animation then there is 3d animation and then there is something called new media new media new media are uh, they are also animations but they are very evolving fields they are still quite new and uh, in these fields there are things like augmented reality and virtual reality so we'll be talking about these also uh, now before we talk about each of them in detail there is you know one more way we can actually classify the animation that is in terms of how uh, how we uh, what is actually happening in the animation okay so we'll, we'll 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 just talk about that slightly later so first let's talk about 2d 3d what what exactly is d can somebody tell me what what d stands for in 
uh, 2D animation. Any inputs? Dimension. Perfect. Everybody knows. So dimension. What what is dimension? Maths maths teachers, maths students. What is dimension? Oh, so many people know it. So I'll tell you what dimension is. Okay. Dimension is length and width is so correct, right? Three axes, perfect. What is dimension? So dimension is actually, it actually talk, it is actually a mathematical concept which deals with when you talk about, if you when you want to talk about it precisely, it talks so it it means the degree of freedom that an object has to move. Okay, whether it can move in which in how many directions it can move. If a point is there and it, it, it cannot move at all, we say it is a zero dimensional system where nothing actually moves. If it moves in a straight line, like a, like a straight road or like a train, you know, a train going from, you know, Guwahati to Calcutta, it is either moving forward or going back. It cannot just, you know, leave the track and go to uh, Sikkim, you understand? So that is a one dimensional system. A two-dimensional system is where you know we when we are on a plane and we are walking so we can either walk straight we can go in front or come back or we can turn left or right we cannot fly like like birds so that that is a 2d 2d two-dimensional system you know we are, it's, a, it's a plane it's like a ball on a tabletop it is either moving ahead or coming back but what if we could fly what if the ball goes on top of the table also what if we could fly like birds? Then it becomes a 3D system. That is a cube. It has a length, it has a breadth, and there's a depth also. There's a, there's a, there is a, a third dimension to it. So, how is this related to animation is, you know, computer has a memory and computer has a way of storing things. Okay? So, when it stores things and it and they are allowed when we like we said we can make them move and when they are allowed to move in only two dimensions two dimensions means in a square in a in a flat plane when they are allowed to move in only a plane then that kind of animation is called 2d animation okay it's an animation film which involves flat characters moving on a 2d canvas examples of 2d animation we saw there was this. Now here, you see, you might say that there is actually uh, there's a there's a, there's some depth also because this cart is so much away from you know this donkey. So there's a there's a there's actually a depth. But if you look at it carefully, this is only an illusion of depth. This cart, everything is actually on the same plane. You see everything is on the same plane if you were to ask me what does this man look from look like from behind there is no way we can actually tell that what does this donkey looks like from behind we don't know because computer doesn't have that store computer has got only one side of it is made and that also is without any without any depth so this is a 2d animation another example of 2d animation we saw it earlier also now you see these mountains, this mountain, it seems to be uh, closer to us and that mountain seems to be further from us. But this is also again an illusion. How do we create that illusion? We create that illusion by see what is in front of it. We make it cover and erase what we want to show as behind it. So this policeman's foot is, is been erased from this place. And also the other thing is size. The, the policeman in you know further from away, further further away from us is smaller in size than this policeman. So with these things, with things like these, we are able to convey uh, an illusion of depth. But as far as the computer is concerned, as far as how things are stored in the computer, everything is a it's a 2D system. Okay. Now coming to 3D animation, what does 3D animation look like? What is 3D animation? 3D animation, it's an animation which involves three dimensional characters 
moving in three dimensional space but how is three dimensional characters how are they possible in a computer because at the end of the day we are only watching them on a screen and screen is flat it's just a it's just a flat glass surface how can there be depth in it <clears throat> it is in the memory of the computer that there is depth the computer stores it as a three dimensional object having length breadth and depth okay and when it does that you know when i let's let's just have a look at this animation first just a small animation it's a 3d animation okay watch this okay now do you see although this is again we are watching it on the on a 2d screen only this is a flat screen only but if you see this is actually they are all 3d surfaces if you were to ask the computer uh, what does the back side of this face look like the computer would have an answer we can actually turn it around computer has the entire surface stored in its uh, memory not only that when it stores the surface do you see this light there's a there's a shadow here that forms when the hand comes the shadow forms when the hand comes the shadow forms why does this happen it happens because the computer is using a system of physics just as in the real world the light interacts with different different surfaces and that gives rise to the colors but we see as uh, you know if it's a white table the way uh, light falls on it the color of the light that is falling on it the shadow the type of light soft light hard light all of these things they have an effect on what the actual color of that table will be this is what this is how it works in the real world the computers have come very close to you know replicating it so you see there is a there's a there's a little bit of roundness here in the tummy so the, the light you know it actually interacts and it creates this small shadow which and these things together in 3d systems they create an illusion of 3d so that is what then it becomes a 3d film okay now moving on you know i had said that there is another way of uh, classifying the films the other way of classifying the films in addition to 2d and 3d was what is actually happening in the film you know whether what we are telling is whether we are telling a story in the film or we are talking about something in the you know something uh, text based or something graphical based so generally speaking an infographic animation is one where is there is lot of uh, there is lot of text and graphs and lot of statistics that is there and a character based film is one where there are characters there is a fiction there is a story why we need to know this is because although the computer works on them both in a similar way but our work for both of them our pipeline it changes how i'll tell you what a pipeline for a typical film looks like pipeline is what we do how we do so it's an elaborate process you see the 2d animation one has to go through all these processes there are three main phases there is a pre production phase there is a production phase and there is a post production phase okay pre production phase is when uh, we decide what we are make trying to make because the film it doesn't really start with the film itself it starts with an idea it starts as an idea there is no camera required it's just the mind thinking so that is where the film starts so that is to one has to write it down formally it just helps it's called concept note that is the first step once you have a concept note ready then you want to write a script you know you decided that you want to make a film it will have these three things three three characters what will they do you need to write a script for that you write a script then you design the characters what are those characters looking like what is going to be their age are they going to be well built are they going to have gray hair long hair short hair no hair 
those things what will be the, will, what, what will they be wearing so that is character design so when all these script and character design after that the next step is how and where in each scene we are going to place the camera so that becomes our screenplay from the screenplay we make something called called as the storyboard storyboard is like a comic we'll be just watching an example also it's like a comic strip so that the entire team can be on the same page and they can all visualize what uh, what what they are getting into so that is what a storyboard is once we have the storyboard ready then comes the process of production where the film you know uh, is get gets produced although the entire thing is production but when we talk about this production means when the video the uh, the animated clips they get made how they get made you design us you you make a scene first for example in this case you know uh, in this case uh, the first of all these mountains uh, this ground this mountain these things were made once these were made then the characters were placed right once the characters were placed then uh, they were animated and then there was there's a secondary animation edit secondary animation are uh, you know every time when we are talking when we are doing something every character it also is doing some things which are involuntary you know uh, sometimes the eyes just you know flick or sometimes one just wants to just have an itching somewhere or one just looks around so those things are secondary animations they make the characters real so those animations are added one has to be very observant and one has to know that these have to be added right and then there are background animations a lot of times when somebody is talking there could be a fan moving in the background there could be a crow passing or things like those so those are background animation there could be a leaf you know actually just moving a tree moving so they all these things together they make our characters real when we have all these things done then they are put together and in a process called compositing in the compositing stage everything is put together into a single video okay once this is done each of these videos they are uh, they are then taken into uh, the stage of post production post production is where all of them are put together and they are basically edited now what is editing in the in the case of videos in the case of films editing is creating the experience that the audience would be having it it entails uh, putting together all the videos in a particular order adding sound effects adding music adding dialogues and then putting everything together and then giving it uh, creating an output in a format that we want so but you know these all these things they are actually very very specialized topics and each of them are actually you know professions in itself so you when you are working as a teacher making this animation you are not you don't have to actually learn everything you don't have to go into the details of it because these are they will require a lot of effort although i would really encourage you to you know study everything is available on youtube but what is important for you is the first box it is the concept note the script the character design the screenplay the storyboard these are the things which will actually make rest of it you know it will make the rest of it work so this is where your job is the first one okay now let's see what does a 3d animation pipeline look like so 3d animation pipeline the first box is the same okay pre-production stage is the same the production stage here uh, remember we mentioned that when we were talking about a 3d object we were talking about how the computer actually stores it in the in its memory in a as a as a as a, as a 3d thing having a depth and it's like a surface so that is actually called a 3d model so those models have to be built and that process is called modeling okay once those models are built then computer has to be told what each surface will actually look like 
what it will look like means how each surface will interact with light okay for example a, a metallic surface would interact with light in a different way than a plastic surface okay now if you see my phone this is it's all black but on one side there is glass on one the other side there is plastic they are both interacting with the light in a different way they are creating different types of reflections okay so this kind of this information to give this information to the computer is called texturing the next step is rigging rigging is when to tell the computer how that model can be moved how that model actually how is it possible to where all it can move you know basically adding joints and bones in that model once that is done then the actual movements are added that is technically called animation and then finally lights are added and the computer is asked to uh, put everything together in the process is called rendering so each of these again they are very specialized uh, professions in each of them uh, in the in the actual industry the guy who makes modeling he does only that it is a full time job same with each of them same with texturing the rigging artist would do only rigging the lighting artist would do only lighting and so on and then finally the the last stage is the same you have to again work only on the pre production stage but you do need to know the process so that you know what you are getting into okay somebody has asked what is rigging please elaborate rigging is okay i'll just tell you let's go back to that 3d this guy okay now you see how it moves here look at his foot look at his foot the way the foot has tapped okay now computer has to be told computer has to be told how and where it is possible to move the foot for example this uh, you see this arm it is moving only at the elbow it cannot just move from anywhere so to tell the computer how and where the model can be moved that information to be given in other words in simple words you know once you created the model we want to add a skeleton to it so there is a skeleton added inside it that process is called rigging okay texturing somebody is asking what is texturing let's go back to the first video that we saw okay let's go back to just to understand what is texture let's look at this now look at this look at how okay now look at this do you see on the car there is a reflection here there is a spot of light this light is coming from a lamp which is in front of the car right now that lamp's light is falling on the car also and it is falling on the wheel also but the kind of reflection being created at, on the wheel is it same as the one which is created on the on the car on the metal see look at this carefully they are different how is the computer to know what what is the what how the rubber has to look like and how the metal has to look like and how for example the glass has to look like see look at the glass this is transparent but this is not completely transparent like air it is transparent but it is just giving a small brown tint to, to it so all these informations they are called textures okay now giving this texturing information to the computer for each every single surface the computer has to be told what this how that surface is going to interact with light what is going to be its reflective index what is going to be its refractive index all those things those are the things which are given and this is called texturing okay now let's just so we, uh, let's just look at a typical small example so like i said you don't have to get into too much technicality all of these information is actually available on the internet also you will probably not be doing uh, 
these things with your own hands. When you are working on an animation project, you will have a team working on it. You only have to create a script, a storyboard, which is tight enough, which is tight enough to justify all, you know, the work of all these other people. Okay. Now, how does this first box look like? So when we start a character, when we want to design a character and we have a concept note, and so the first animation that we saw, remember we saw that animation of Ashwa Kumar. So when we started uh, working on that, our brief was that we had to create a character that would, uh, that would, you know, uh, talk to the rural folks of India who are working with horses. This was to give, uh, give people some, uh, you know, some uh, information on the horses, but information in a way where they can actually absorb it. They will absorb it if they enjoy it. They will enjoy it if that character looks like them, but yet it has to inspire them. So it has to be like them, but yet slightly different. So we started designing the character. So there were different, different, lot of models were made. These are just three, there were many, many more models were made and they were run through a uh, lot of people who are actually working with the communities who are, uh, who are our target audience. And then, you know, there were elements that, that were thought that that should be removed from them. There were any elements that should be added from them. And finally, a character was designed, which looked like this. Okay. So this itself was a process. A lot of sketches were made, they were run through and so on. So this character was made, okay. Then the script was written. What does the script look like? I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this, okay. So this is what the script looks like. So this is just one scene. There are, there were a lot of, uh, lot of videos that were made. So you see, if you look at it carefully, script is a way to put everybody on the same page. All of, the, all of these processes are basically to put everyone working on the team. They all know what is happening. So what is happening here is, uh, I'll just read it out in Hindi. It, it says, Ek gaon mein ek pashu mela laga hai, jahan charo aur janwar bandhe huye hai. Tamam log aa ja rahe hai, kahi loudspeaker par prachar chal raha hai, charo aur logo aur janwaron ki awazhe aa rahi hai, so all of this thing in yellow, this is the description of what is going to happen, what is what the scene is going to happen. Now what is going to happen is there are these two characters, there is Hassan and there is Hira and they are going to talk. So their dialogues are here. Hmm? So Hassan is saying, Ki, kya soch mein padha hai Hira, yaha ek se badkar ek ghode hai, dekh le koi apni pasand ka. But Hira says ki, I don't know, I don't like any person. And then there is a character, there is a comic character, Hoshiyar Chacha. I'm just telling you all this so that, you know, when we watch the video, it will just make a little more sense. So Hoshiyar Chacha, he says, what should you think of a good guy? Who can you tell him from the good guy? Now, he is a comic character. He doesn't really know anything about horses. But he is there only to make everyone laugh and to tell what not to do only give wrong answers okay and then he gives he continues to give some wrong answers and then comes the hero who is ashru kumar he is the one who gives all the correct answers okay so this is what the script is looking like it's a small scene and this is uh, about four or five pages of the script now when we have this the next step is a storyboard storyboard is when this script is converted into a something like a comic strip okay this is what it looks like so when the same same script that we just read here it says ek gaon ke paas ek pashu mera laga hai so the artist actually starts visualizing what the writer has written so he just visualize and he he draws it he is he doesn't make it very elaborate because this is all still uh, still a work in progress it's not the final thing it's just to put everyone on the same page so this is what it looks like and then this arrow is it talk it is actually telling the computer uh, the camera movement the camera will move from left to right when it moves from left to right it is called a pan 
camera is panning from left to right. Okay, and then there are these two characters talking. There are loudspeakers. So everything that the writer has written, they have been put in these shots. Okay. Then you see here we have a shot which is where these two people, they are very far away from the camera. As they start talking and we know the characters and we have we can then go closer. So the next shot looks like this. Okay. So there's a, actually a very interesting grammar, the visual grammar which is coming in place here. Okay. So when this guy is talking, we are facing him. When this guy talks, the camera might move on the other side. And then there is this character comes. This is the guy who, who is the funny guy who doesn't really know anything. Koshiyar Chacha. So look at the way he's, he's standing. He's made, he's, he's standing in a way so that, you know, he can actually make you laugh. That is the idea. Okay. And when they are whispering and they're talking to each other, we have a close shot. Okay. We close means we are going closer to them. Okay. Then this is the hero who comes, Ashwakumar. He comes on a horse and he starts giving them answers. Okay. So this is what is what the scene would look like after that. So all of these things put together, they are called storyboard. So we had uh, the script, we had the characters, we had a screenplay and we, this is what the storyboard looked like. Okay. Once we have that, then the dialogues are recorded. But before the dialogues are recorded, you know, one starts the animation and when the animation is started, it actually uh, needs, uh, sometimes it requires a rough dialogue, a rough scratch uh, voiceover track. A scratch track means a track which is not final, which is not, uh, it doesn't, it is not done by the professional artist. It's just a, a track so that the timing of the animation artist can be perfected. Okay. This is what it looks like. I'll just play it uh, briefly. Sorry. Okay, so these were uh, these were the dialogues which were recorded by non-professional artists, non-professional people, not artists, so that the animation team can perfect their timing. Once this is done, then the final dialogues are recorded. Okay, when the, yeah, so fi when the final dialogues, when the final dialogues are recorded. They look like this. Now you just heard the chacha. Now see how the how a professional artist would would, would speak the same thing. You saw that. So this is what the artist has done to it. Okay. And then finally when music and sound effects are added to it then it just takes to it goes to the even next level and it looks like this kya soch mein pada hai hira yahan to ek se badhkar ek ghode hain dekh le koi apni pasand ka yahi to pareshan now did you notice there was a sound effect when we started there was a there was a, a, a cock in the background, see, and there are birds. So, and there are secondary animations also, which were actually missing. If you see carefully, if you see carefully, there are birds moving in the background. There are leaves, which are, you know, moving, there are clouds. So all of these are secondary yeah, animations, which have been added. And there are sound effects, which are added. And also there are comic sound effects, you see. Now, when the chacha he speaks, there will be a small background uh, music that will come. Just listen carefully. Okay, 
ये बस नाम के ही होशियार हैं गांव में इनके चर्चे तो तुमने सुने ही होंगे तो क्या हुआ कम से कम सही घोड़े की पहचान तो करा ही देंगे हाँ बेटा हमसे कुछ कहा क्या सही समय पर आए हो चाचा मुझे एक अच्छा घोड़ा खरीदना है उसकी कुछ पहचान बता दीजिए ओके सो दिस इज हाउ दिस इज हाउ ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स they 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 come together and then we go to what is called mastering mastering is when you know everything is uh, there is a term called exported exported from the system in the format that we need and the format is actually different for different uh, uses different deployment needs for youtube you might need something called mp4 if you want to play it on the phone also that is also mp4 but uh, so there are different types of you know formats but all those things are again technical and they keep changing with time so although you need to be aware but you don't have to be so much aware about the technical aspects there will be people you in all probability you will find people to take care of them what you have to be uh, you know certain about is the content part it is the first box you know coming back it is the first box this is what you have to be clear about okay now is there any are there any 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 questions anything uh, that you would like to add to it add remove multiply anything no so everybody has understood everything so let's move to uh, very slightly we'll now be talking about a new term which is the new media okay what does new media mean okay somebody is saying they are flattering me they are saying it is very detailed and interesting thank you uh i tell you what a new media looks like so new media is you know when so for, let's start with augmented reality i'm just going to stop sharing the screen and turn on so that you can see the camera clearly uh, so what new media does is that you know it is a system augmented reality is a system in which uh, sir we can have hands on practice on this animation yes you will be you will be creating animations in the in the next few sessions okay so uh, augmented reality is when there is a uh, you know you all have worked on snapchat you all must have seen some uh, you know kids making some nice uh, things on videos and when you see your own picture there are small small things which get added so that is augmented reality where the feed of the camera which is coming from the real world it gets augmented there are things which get added to it and it becomes augmented reality okay i'll give you an example of an educational augmented reality uh, video not a video an application so this is a book okay there is a book for kids it is an educational book which say which is basically created for uh, created to tell them about uh, how, how dinosaurs uh, were so there is a, the, the story is that this this kid he goes to a museum and he looks at a lot of uh, dinosaurs and then you know when he is sleeping he is actually dreaming and he there is a dinosaur which actually comes he doesn't realize that he is dreaming but a dinosaur actually visits him he not only visits him he takes him on a ride to the dinosaur land and there he you know he introduces on every page he introduces the kid with a new set of dinosaurs now this book when we created this book we also created an application okay this is a tab it can this application can run on a tab it can run on 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 phones on on any on any surface which is running on uh, an android okay this is a just a regular uh, tab and now with this tab when we scan this book okay Did you see when I scan, something happens here? See, 
there are these two dinosaurs that have appeared. Did you see that? This is, they have dropped, they have, they have, you know, popped out of the book. If you see, the book is here and these guys have come here inside the picture which is of, which is, which this tab is taking of the book. We can actually, you know, we can make them, they are all animated. So we, if we select the, the first one, the first one is selected. We can ask him to move also. So we ask him to come here, he comes. We ask him to come close to us, he comes close to us. We ask him to go back, he goes back. Okay. We can actually, there are small animations that have been added. We can actually ask him to move to show us what he eats. So this one is a vegetarian dinosaur. So he eats a tree, so a tree comes and he's eating. Okay. And if you ask him to roar, so this is what this, we don't know what they used to sound like, but based on their, based on the fossils, this is what the scientists think that they used to sound like. So each of them, they've got a sound also. Okay. Now, this is an educational augmented reality video, or augmented reality system, if you like. How does it work? What is actually happening? Yes, you are all asking how it is made. So it is made using, you see this small thing it just written here, it's made using Viewfolia. Okay. Viewfolia, it's a, it's a software. It is an online software which takes into account the model of whatever you want to animate and specific animations. And it also takes into account the trigger images. Now for this animation, this one was a trigger image. If we go to some other image and we scan this, some other dinosaur will come. Okay. So for these, each of them is a trigger image. So in Viewfolia as a system, you have to tell the computer, you have to tell the computer what any what the object is going to look like. A 3D image of the object has to be stored in the computer. Some specific animations of those objects have to be stored in the computer and a trigger image also has to be given. Then we can get that trigger image printed. When we scan it, the, the trigger image would trigger that animation. This is what an augmented reality looks like. The Viewphoria system, it is uh, actually, you know, you can, uh, it is slightly complex, but I would still encourage you to go and check it. And there are a lot of open source, open source uh, applications are also available which do augmented reality. Of course, we have all seen the Facebook uh, cameras and the Instagram and Snapchat cameras. They are all examples of uh, augmented reality. Okay. Similarly, there was another term which we had learned, which we mentioned here, which was virtual reality. What is virtual reality look like? Now, virtual reality is, you know, when we create a, when we create a, normally when we shoot something, when we create a video, it is, the camera is facing on a, on a particular direction and it is a flat image which gets stored. What if, what if the image is not flat? What if it is a sphere, you know, if it is a sphere, it is like a ball and you are inside that ball then that becomes a virtual reality system okay uh, it requires special cameras to shoot it if you want to create a virtual reality if you are making a uh, if you are making a making an animation virtual reality animations can be 2d or 3d also it's just a matter of you know when we are mastering it we can we can decide to make make it look like a virtual reality uh, virtual reality animation i'll just uh, quickly show you a virtual reality video right just one second uh, in fact there are a lot of these videos which are available on 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 the youtube if you just go and look for virtual reality you will find see 
Now, if you see this, you all can see my screen, right? Now, this is actually a, a screen which is, you know, which moves when I move the phone. You know, you can, I can move the phone and I can look at the different, different uh, parts of it. This is actually a roller coaster ride. So one can, so the camera is moving and we are actually, you know, watching what is happening. See, look at this. So just as I move the camera, it uh, looks at the, uh, looks at what is happening around it. So all that is happening here is that this image is actually projected on a sphere and what in which part of the sphere we are seeing that is called a viewport. That viewport is actually gets moved and it is linked to a device which is found on most phones. It's called accelerometer. Accelerometer basically looks at how the phone is going to move. It just collects that information and changes the viewport angle as per that. So this is all actually, uh, it sounds complex. It is slightly complex, but from the usage point of view, there are a lot of possibilities. You can, you know, actually look at uh, some virtual reality uh, possibilities are there with, in YouTube also. And there are a lot of free virtual reality softwares which are available on Play Store. Uh, you can, you know, explore them also. So, uh, any, 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 any questions on these? Any questions? No. So, if there are no questions, then I think we can uh, we can conclude the session. And uh, see the most uh, virtual reality. Uh, application you know all the applications which create videos they all have options of exporting the video as a virtual reality video also okay but a lot of them are paid so uh, for example when we use a software called after effects okay after effects is where the videos are created the animations are created uh, to nowadays for last two three years it has started supporting virtual reality so we can actually create a screen which is sphere and we can animate things in that so uh, but there are some free softwares also they are not as advanced even the paid ones are also not very advanced this is a this is a evolving technology the grammar of virtual reality is still evolving there are still things which are being added every, you know, every month we have, we see something new happening. So, uh, you know, I think with Facebook coming up with Metaverse, now you all would have, do you know that Facebook's company name has got changed to Meta? That is because they are creating a platform called Metaverse, which is completely virtual reality. So in next, Two to three years virtual reality is going to become the norm everybody will be using it okay so i would encourage you to read about metaverse and read about virtual reality uh, somebody is saying difference between animation and cartoon animation is anything which is animated you know <laughs> anything which is moving is animation cartoon is a caricature cartoon is something where uh, things are you know just uh, distorted slightly to make you specifically either to make somebody laugh. It can be a political satire also. Those are also cartoons. So not all cartoons are animations, not all animated cartoons, not all, not all cartoons are animated actually. There are printed cartoons also. Animations can also be without cartoons also, you know, it's vice versa. How do we get the images for scanning? Images for scanning, that's, one has to just sketch them, one has to just 
we can even for this one also uh, now for this one it was drawn but one can actually use these are just trigger images we need to just tell the software tell viewphoria software that so and so image is the trigger image it just stores that image on its in its memory whenever that image comes in front of it it just triggers that animation it doesn't have to be uh, a, a computer generated image it can be a video it can be a photograph it can even be a, just a text you know but it has to be unique enough if you have an image which is uh, which is not unique then it can actually get triggered sir what if we are not expert in making image then you get in touch with an expert you know either that or you can start practicing or you can actually you know we all are experts and especially the teachers they are all experts at making uh, at telling stories at telling at in performing every you know in the class so you are all already are experts at telling stories you just need to think visually so you are already more than halfway you are already there you just need to get started and the first step is the most difficult once you started there is no looking back and it is very interesting medium anatomy 4d is an app which provides some images for scanning and showing functions of body part that's right there are a lot of uh, animation apps which will be covered in the course also uh, some open source ones will be covered but uh, there are other applications also are available and you can you know in the sessions to come you will actually be going through them stop motion studio is one where you can uh, you know quiver also is an ar app and stop motion studio is also uh, you know an app where you can actually make an animation it is very easy and you can just need, just need to take a series of photographs with some precaution that you don't move the camera too much and you know keeping uh, with just slight slight changes in the with just some slight changes in how uh, in the in each image it just looks like that uh, the image gets animated okay with, with that i think we can uh, close the session if everybody uh, is okay with that. The CIT team can yes, yes. only. Uh, yes, we can. Uh, we 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 are kind of reached the completed the time duration for this session also. Uh, so there are many apps which are available uh, on the for the mobile. Uh, you can uh, see on the app store you can research on your own also i have mentioned one uh, which is uh, uh, anatomy and the other one quiver is also there and there are few more so it can be searched which are basically built in uh, things they provide certain scanning uh, images also and then they show the working of that particular aspect so uh, ra rather than getting into the creation part of uh, those because AR, VR, or the animation, they need quite a bit of technical expertise. We will be doing one simple animation, that is for sure, but covering everything won't be possible here. And this is just an orientation. So, you know, getting into the detail of anything, uh, quite detail in, for anything is uh, slightly difficult uh, in the programs like this. But still, you can definitely access these few things. We will uh, we'll also list more. Uh, for your convenience on the group also so that you can access and take benefit from all of these applications and softwares. Uh, I would now uh, like to extend my uh, thanks to Mr. Ayush for this enlightening session, uh, which went on quite in detail about animation. And I think most of the concepts which we generally struggle with to understand were covered in such a simple language. So thank you so much, uh, sir, sir, for this uh, great session. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, participants. And we, uh, I'll be taking uh, leave now. And the session, I think, continues, right? Right, right. Thank okay. you. All the thank, best you. thank you, sir. Now uh, we will move on to the demonstration part.
uh, which is a practical, the way we regularly proceed. First of all, a theoretical orientation about the, the work which we are going to do, then a demonstration, and then we will go into the hands-on session where you will practice with your devices, with your mobile phones today for creating an animation. So for now, I, will, I would like to invite Dr. Prachi Sharma, uh, if she's here. Uh, Dr. Prachi. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Uh, Dr. Prachi is here. She will take us through one of the mobile app, uh, which is very simple for us as a teacher to create small animations, uh, useful animations and very interesting animations. Uh, I, I uh, welcome Dr. Prachi and the session is over to you. Thank you, ma'am. So I'm sharing my screen. It would be great to see you also once at least. Yes, ma'am. Now you can start. Thank you. The attendance has been posted in the chat box. If anybody is left to mark the attendance, they can mark it. And we will just go through the demonstration for half an hour. And then we will go for the uh, next part of this, uh, which is hands-on. Over to you. So shall we start? Yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, in this session, we will learn how we can create a small animation uh, videos by, by using stop motion studio app. So what is stop motion animation? Stop motion animation is a type of technique by which object can be moved automatically in this some pictures are drawn in their different photos are clicked in different positions. And when these images are played in a sequence, a movement appears. It is called stop motion animation. We will create a illusion of movement that that movement is not real. Just we, we create some illusion of movement that is called a stop motion animation. So what are the types of stop motion animation? These are some types of, uh, of stop motion animation. First, object motion animation. Uh, in this uh, animation, we will uh, create some objects. Yeah, we will use some objects like toys, blocks, dolls, or similar item to create the animation that is uh, uh, object motion animation. Second, clay motion animation. When we use some clay, uh, some object uh, created with clay and clay making uh, objects and create a video by using that clay making uh, toys. That is a clay motion animation, cut out motion. When we create uh, characters or props from any material like paper, uh, paper, cardboard, photographs, and any fabric uh, that is, uh, and create uh, animation, uh, from uh, these kinds of uh, props. So that is a cutout motion animation and to puppet animation when we use any puppets to create animation, that is a puppet animation. So uh, these are some tools. Uh, by using these tools, we can create animation. So in this session, we will uh, learn how we can uh, create animation uh, by using a stop motion studio app, which is a mobile based uh, um, app. And it is available for Android and iOS version, available for both versions. So this is the, uh, this is a logo of stop motion animation studio app. Uh, what material required to create a uh, animation? First smartphone, of course we need a, smartphone to create this uh, these kinds of animation uh, second storyline are you 
sir has already explained the importance of storyline and storyboards while creating any animation so uh, storyline is very important to create any animation and of course storyboard storyboards is uh, is also important to create any uh, animation because a storyboard is uh, gives a holistic uh, idea about uh, the complete video complete films it's give a uh, storyboards is, is a visual presentation of any animation or any films uh, and it give a clear idea about every frames and every shot which we want to uh, add which we want to click in uh, in our uh, animation so uh, we can create a storyboard digitally or we can create a sketch uh, storyboard here you can see a storyboard uh, it's a rough storyboard and we uh, you can uh, as you can see on the screen there is a uh, frame 1 frame 2 frame 3 every frame is mentioned in our uh, on a paper and we uh, create a graphical uh, uh, present uh, a graphical presentation of uh, a whole story the how uh, our story will go so we create a story uh, that's why storyboard is very important to create any uh, animation or any video so uh, step one first we have to download uh, this app in our mobile phone so uh, we can we type stop motion studio this uh, logo will appear this so this is a, a, a logo of stop motion animation we download it once we download uh, this app and we, when we click on the uh, icon this screen will uh, appear on our mobile phone and this is a dashboard for uh, this is the dashboard of stop motion animation app this is a plus sign new movie when we click on this screen we will get this screen on our mobile phone here you can see some icons are given on uh, left hand side and right hand side so what are these icons when we click on this question mark icon we will get the name of these icon first capture camera we will click we will take photographs or uh, 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 we will take a photographs of our story by using this uh, camera capture option this second is undo we can undo it uh, third is play when we click all the frames we will take all the frames our story we will click on this and uh, to to see how our story will go so this is a play button and and the left hand side you can see first option is back option by clicking on this back option you can go back to the dashboard second is a uh, voice over icon by using this button you can record your voice over for the story for the animation and you can add your voice with the video and third one is plus icon that is add image audio add audio add credit so we can by using this uh, this option this uh, feature we can add external image with the video we can add external audio or external music with the video and we can add credits and titles along with the video but these features are not available with the stop motion animation free version these features are available with the pro version that is a paid version so we cannot use this features in free version and the last of uh, icon is setting by using uh, setting features uh, you can adjust the speed of the video you can adjust the uh, quality of video we can download the uh, video in high quality some features are uh, in setting uh, there are some features are available for free version and some are not available with the free version so so now we will uh, click on camera button so after clicking on camera button 
you will get this screen on your mobile phone there are some option again in uh, you can see some option in the right hand side when we click on these bars we will get this screen here you can uh, adjust the brightness of the uh, uh, your photograph adjust the brightness adjust the zoom you can zoom in zoom out so you can uh, you can get these features by clicking on the, uh, that bars here you can see this this icon this is a timer you can set the time for clicking the photographs when uh, you may not the click a photograph manually uh, you can set the timer and uh, you can uh, set when we click on this you can get the timings uh, key, uh, you can set the timing 1 second 2 second 3 second so by using this uh, timer you can set the time for clicking the photographs huh. at the bottom of uh, the this screen you can uh, see the timeline so when you click all the you take all the photographs for your story all photographs will be visible in the timeline and you can edit every frame uh, of uh, your movie by uh, in the timeline only here you can see i have clicked photographs for a story which i showed in the storyboard uh 37 clicks are 37 pictures click for this story and these all pictures are appearing in the timeline so we can edit every frame in the timeline as our requirement now you can see i have selected 20th frame from the timeline and i want to edit this frame for editing i will long press that the particular frame which i want to edit after clicking on this the pop up screen will come and you can see some editing features are appear on this pop up screen first insert camera second pause audio edit erase merge select cut copy paste reverse and delete so if you want to add any additional frame in between the timeline for example you i want to add a new frame next to the 20th frame so i will click on i will long press that particular frame and then i will click on insert camera and camera will be inserted after the 20th frame and i will click a new frame and <laughs> add a new frame in between the timeline if i want yeah if i want to stay some more time on this frame i will uh, use the pause button and set the time 2 second 3 second and we will apply the pause and this particular slide i want to delete my audio which i have recorded yeah which i i have inserted external audio i want to uh, delete that audio i want to trim that audio we can use these features by using audio uh, audio uh, button i i can edit a particular frame by editing but these features edit erase merge and reverse these four features are not available with the free version again if we if i have a pro version membership i can use these features but in free version we cannot use these four features i can select the frame and i can uh, select the frame by select uh, selecting option and i can uh, well, we i can copy these frames and i can cut these frames and paste it and i can delete these frames so if i want to edit that particular frame we can use these editing option for edit edit our frames
now i want to add the story line story of narration uh, narration of story with this video so i will click on this uh, voice over icon when i click on this this screen will appear by clicking on record i can record the story of uh, or story story or voice over whatever you want to add with the story you can record it you can done you can play it and uh, play it after clicking on uh, this last option this setting option you can see the setting when we click on this setting option you will get these features first uh, you can set the speed of the video this is the speed you can adjust the speed there's 1 2 3 second per frame you can adjust the speed by using this option and the second is you can uh, the second option is fade you can uh, apply the fade option uh, this fade is a uh, mm, when you play the uh, sto your story the fade the fade in fade out option you can use it this is the fade option this uh, this third one is the aspect ratio you can use the aspect ratio as your requirement and uh, fourth option is foreground but this feature is not available with uh, we cannot add any foreground with the story with the video because this is a paid feature and this one is a filter we cannot add any uh, filter with the free version so again this is not uh, this is a pro version feature and uh, and this one is the quality uh, we can download a, a, our video in hd quality hd quality more than this we cannot download we can download only in hd quality and this is a play this is a play button we can preview our video by using this button once we edit and we uh, once we edit our video so i want to preview uh, this video by we can preview our video by using this button play video play button now i want to share when you create your project and go back to the dashboard your project will be automatically saved on the dashboard you can see my project is automatically saved on the dashboard now i want to uh, share my video with uh, my students so when i long press this particular project you can see at the top in blue bar some options are appearing first again preview we can preview uh, again preview my video and uh, second option is share option by using after clicking on share you will get these options by uh, uh, we can download we can share uh, my movie by um, my project in the movie format that is mp4 format i can uh, share my project um, in animated gif format i can share my project in image format if i use this format my uh, all frames will be uh, converted in separate images that is jpg format or uh, that uh, next option is flipbook when i use this format to share uh, my project will be uh, downloaded as pdf and last is project format that is the uh, stop motion animation extension format so we can share my pro, uh, our video in various format that is that are mentioned uh, that you can see on the screen in video format gif format images format and flipbook that is pdf format when i click on export movie i want to share my video in a movie format when i click on export movie 
you will get these option to share you can uh, share your video via whatsapp facebook gmail facebook instagram you can you can see a option of save video when you click on this option you can directly save your video in your phone gallery and um, you can share a video from your phone gallery so we can, can directly we can share via various platform and we can save video in the phone gallery also so uh, so we can share uh, our video in various format and third you can see the third option is copy uh, this is a duplicate this is a copy paste option you can uh, by using this option you can make a duplicate copy of your uh, your movie and fourth option is delete option so you can delete your project from the dashboard so these are uh, the various uh, options you can use this and we can share our uh, video in different formats so i will now i am showing a demo how we can create uh, a animation video stop motion animation video by using this these features about Dr. Prachi, we Papa, can't yeah. play, yeah, but today no. we will create a yes now we could hear uh, okay okay i'm replaying uh, it can we can we uh, can we continue this video after the break we Today can also we share the link sorry uh, dr prachi yes yes so i was thinking that we can just share the link of the this video with the participants and we can break and we come back and then we will again uh, show it and discuss it if that sure, is sure Right. So now uh, we will uh, break for tea for 10 minutes. We are also sharing the uh, this video link in the chat box so that you can see at your end, even if you are breaking uh, between the session, you can see it on your own also. And we'll continue around at 3, uh, sorry, 1130. Uh, so please be back by 1130 so that we can start the session. I'll also request Dr. Prachi to share the link in the chat box. Yes, ma'am, I'm sharing. Dr. Prachi, over to you.
I have shared the link again also for your convenience. We will be playing the video here during the session uh, also so that you can see. Uh, okay, ma'am, there we come and we'll share it in the WhatsApp group also. Uh, I'm sharing my screen and I'm playing a demo video, which I have already shared on the uh, link has been shared on the chat box. So I'm playing it again on, uh, on the screen and I'm sharing my screen. Create stop motion uh, animation for the fish. Today we will create stop motion. Uh, Monica, ma'am, I think audio is fine. I think it's audible, na? Yes, yes, it is fine. Uh, animation for the famous story, the Thirsty Crow. We must have heard about it. So we will create stop motion animation for this story, and we will create this story by using different cutouts we can create a story by using a uh, uh, puppet puppets clay but today we will create uh, this story stop motion animation uh, by using uh, cutouts and uh, here uh, you can see uh, this is a background image background uh, we will use this background for creation of stop motion animation and here you can see some cutouts like a crow and a water jug pebbles and when a water jug with pebbles so we can we will use uh, this uh, these cutouts for creating our animation 
so we will uh, captured frame uh, based on the storyboards as we discussed earlier we have created a storyboard for this story and we have created a each of frame and we cre uh, we captured these uh, frames uh, these uh, these frames so as discussed here uh, eight icons are given you can see on the right hand side top icon is camera so we will captured uh, this frame by using this uh, this icon so i i'm tap on uh, i'm clicking on this now you can see a red button we can uh, click uh, we can capture a frame by clicking on the red button so i am clicking on it so this is our first frame now now i am clicking my second frame where the crow is here and click on the red button i will move the position of the crow i will move the position of the crow and i will click the frame again move the crow and click the frame again moving the crow and click the frame again same procedure will do again the close frame i will clicking so now we can see the crow not able to drink a water because the water level of the jug is very low so he, now he uh, he can see some pebbles here so we will uh, rotate the position of the crow and click and we will click some clicks on that frame we will move it on down now as we can see crow picked up the pebble and now he moving towards the water jug and we will captured this frame we will capture each frame of this process now again we repeat the entire process and will captured every moment
we will capture each and every detail now we can see after putting pebbles in the water jug now crow is able to drink water and he is drinking water we will capture this moment this frame and we will click all the frames so we have clicked all possible frames for this story now we will see how many frames we have clicked you can see at the bottom of right hand side uh, 69 frames so 69 frames are clicked for this story now I am clicking on the back button and at the end of the uh, screen we can see the timeline of this uh, story and we can see the every frame of this story so as we are explained earlier we can edit and we can add our voice in this story now we will edit our frames like edit my uh, frames timeline so here we can see on uh, six, uh, frame number 65 uh, the shadow is coming my hand shadow is coming so I want to delete this slide so what we can do we can do is uh, I will click on this frame and this uh, editing options are coming here we can see a delete option I will delete it and this frame will delete it so we can edit our timeline by using these edit option if now if I want to uh, copy my uh, duplicate my frame so I will click on copy button and paste it here so my uh, so the duplicate frame will be created and we will edit our timeline as we are required for now I am going to play this video by click on play button so you can see the motion in the story in the frames if you realize that we can see the option of an insert camera we can click on this and retake the ana frame we can cut the frame we can copy this frame and we can delete this frame we can erase and edit also and merge and reverse jo uh, reverse i uh, feature will be available for the pro version of stop motion animation now if uh, we can set our uh, video speed by using uh, these options I am clicking on setting here we can see move, uh, movie speed we can set the speed of our animation movie now I have set 5 seconds per frame we can set as per our requirement 
थ्री सेकेंड फोर सेकेंड फाइव सेकेंड टेन सेकेंड वी कैन यूज दिस फीचर फॉर स्पीड एडजस्टमेंट वी कैन वी कैन एडजस्ट कलर कंट्रास्ट बट दिस फीचर इज अवेलेबल फॉर द प्रो वर्जन एंड वी कैन यूज फोर ग्राउंड सो दीज फीचर दीज सम फीचर्स आर एवेलेबल विद द फ्री वर्जन तो वी कैन यूज दीज फीचर फॉर फॉर अवर एनिमेशन now if we if we want to add our voice with the animation we will use the voice icon now i am clicking on voice icon here we can see the record button on the screen by clicking on this we can record our voice and add with our animation so now i am going to record my voice i am clicking on the record icon here you can see the start recording One hot day, thirsty crow flew all over the field, looking for the water for a long time. And suddenly, he saw a water jug near the tree. He flew down to the see the to see if there was any water inside. And he could not he could see some water inside the jug. He tried to push his neck into the jug, but he could not do this because water level is very low. then he saw some pebbles he started picking up and picking up pebbles one by one dropping each into the jug and water level kept rising he finally drink water and his plan had worked the moral of the story is think and hard work may find solution of any problem i'm going to stop this recording one hot day trusty now you can see all over the field looking for the water for voice a long time. is coming with the video he saw a water and we can add narration of a story with the animation now i am going to stop this play and click on done now i am going to play this animation with audio by clicking on play button one hot day trusty crow flew now you can see audio is coming with the video so you can create small animation with audio by using this stop motion animation app to see the to see if there was any water inside now we want to share our video with our friends and uh, in uh, with our students so uh, for this we will click on the back button here we can see the, uh, like right left hand side top icon is uh, back icon we will click on this icon here this is the dashboard and you can see uh, this is the movie we have created we will long press this icon uh, this icon movie icon so we can see the uh, various icon is appearing top of the screen first icon is preview icon if i am clicking on this we can see the preview of the uh, of our animation all over the field looking for the water for a long time and suddenly he now i am pausing this clicking on cross button so we can preview our video by clicking on preview button we can see the second icon of sharing by using this icon we can uh, export our video in various format uh, first is in uh, we can download or uh, export our animation in the movie format we can export 
as animated GIF format. We can export in images format. We can export in flipbook format and we can export in project format. So today we will uh, here we will export our animation in movie format. I am clicking on this. So after clicking on this there are many options are coming on the screen. We can share our video via WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, Gmail, Messenger, Twitter. So we and here we can see the various option. We can uh, use this options to share our video, and we can save our video in phone uh, gel uh, in our phone also so we can uh, by clicking on save video we can download this video in our phone gallery and we, um, phone gallery <coughs> so we can share our video by using these icons third number icon is copy icon if you want to duplicate your movie you want to copy your uh, make a copy of uh, your movie so you can click on this icon and you can see the copy of duplicate copy of your movie so you can duplicate and make a copy of our video and fourth option is delete option we can delete multiple copies yeah So now, now I am going to delete this duplicate copy. I am clicking on this, select on this and delete it. I am clicking on delete option. So Now I would request to all participants, uh, please install this app and create a one at least one stop motion animation in this hands-on session. And if you have any query, questions, doubt, please you can raise your virtual hand and you can post on chat box also. And there is one question, can we add thumbnail uh, and music track? Uh, can we add thumbnail music track? Uh, as already mentioned, uh, we cannot add any external uh, images from, from our gallery and, uh, and any external music in pre-version. We can also, we only add clicked uh, images or recorded um, audio with the video because uh, external uh, uh, adding external images uh, is a pro version feature or which is not free, which is a paid feature. Uh, Dhruva, Dhruva sir is saying uh, to summarize it, sir, uh, I would request you to please go through the video which we have shared. The complete steps are there. If you still face any difficulty, you can ask the specific question. Can't crop, uh, is, it, uh, is it possible in this uh, uh, application? Uh, cropping option is not uh, available. Uh, we have to, uh, you know, we cannot crop any frame in free version. So we have to careful while clicking, while taking photographs. So uh, we can, because we cannot crop any frame uh, in, uh, this, this feature is not uh, available with free version. Uh, 
uh, we cannot uh, use pre clicked photos as i already mentioned we have to take photographs uh, and i already mentioned ki uh, adding external images external pictures is not avail uh, this feature is not available with pre version so we cannot use any pre clicked photographs i hope we will be able to give you some of the recordings by tomorrow some of the uh, recordings will be available on the web page by tomorrow so then uh, mr dheeraj uh, and other participants all of you can access through that
if you have any question you can post in the chat box uh, i hope everyone has installed stop motion studio application and you are creating some in uh, interesting animation you can share your animation uh, in the chat box so we can we all can see what you have created what you have learned uh there is one question i am not able to add audio please help uh we cannot add external audio or any other external music we have to record audio then we can only add with the video as i already mentioned uh, that audio icon Uh, ma'am can we take any locally available uh, no no actually we have to take pictures for create uh, for uh, we have to take pic pictures to create animation we cannot add any other external uh, images or pictures because uh, this feature is not available with the free version we cannot add any other external images with free version same with the audio we cannot add any external audio with the free version we have to record uh, audio and then only we can add uh, ma'am you can go through the demo video then you can uh, easily understand the step which i already explained in the demo video just go to the uh, demo video i am sharing a link in chat box how to adjust the speed of motion of the pictures uh in setting you can uh, see the first option of uh, 
adjust your speed so you can adjust your uh, movie speed in uh, the, by using that option
Uh, you have the co-host rights, Prachima. One of the participants has shared a video in the chat box. So I'll just uh, see if we can uh, play it here. Yes, ma'am, we can see it. I'll do the screen share. Just a second. Uh, let just make this small video. was once a hungry Venus flytrap, and wondering what to eat, a fly suddenly came around, moving just around him. He quickly bent down and ate the fly, and now he was satisfied and happy again. Your comments? Rajima. Uh, you're mute, I think. Uh, Ma'am, I couldn't hear that video. Can you <laughs> be uh, played? Okay, I'll just do it. was once a hungry Venus flytrap, and wondering what to eat, a fly suddenly came around, moving just around him. He quickly bent down and ate the fly, and now he was satisfied and happy again. This is a very simple and very uh, nice video uh, that has created. Some inputs also, ma'am, if you could share, that will be, uh, for all of them, it will be a learning. Uh, we can, actually, we can click the uh, two frame for each, uh, uh, two click for each frame. So we can, uh, uh, you know, uh, we can uh, avoid the jerks between the uh, frames. So I would recommend to click uh, uh, two, uh, actually two, yeah, three clicks for each frame. So did, uh, for this, we can, you know, uh, transaction will be very smooth when, when we click more frames for, more click for frames. There is one question not able to add sound. Uh, are you adding external uh, audio or you are uh, recording? Uh, are you talking about recording of audio? There is one question in chat box not able to add uh, sound. So can you please elaborate it? Are you uh, trying to add external audio? Or? Yes, ma'am. 
Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are trying to add external recorded audio. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what uh, I have in my device, I am trying to add that audio. No, but... no, no, ma'am. Actually, we cannot add any external audio. Na? I already mentioned okay. uh, in free feature, in free version, we cannot any, uh, we cannot add any external audio. You have to record your audio in your uh, project. That audio can, that audio will okay. add with the video only. Okay, so ma'am, I have tried that too, uh, that also, but uh, I cannot see how to. You can, uh, you can use the audio option. I already. Okay, ma'am. I'm sharing trying. my screen. We'll explain. Okay. Uh, here you can see the audio icon. Na? When you click on this, this screen will appear and you can, uh, you have to record your audio. Then you can only add with the video. No external uh, audio cannot be uh, add with video in free feature, free, free version. Am I clear? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I'll try it again. Uh, just to add, if you want to add some music and some sound effects to your video, then you can simply create the video here and then uh, re-edit this MP4 file in the open shot video editor, the way we did yesterday. That video also was created using this software, this application, and then we edited it in open shot video editor so that you can add more music and other things to your video. Uh, one of uh, the participant, Lalrinavma from Mizoram has shared her video. So I'll request you can share the screen and uh, play the video here on the system itself. Raji ma'am, there is a question uh, if you could just help us with. Chandralekha Devi ma'am has asked.
पिक्चर स्पीड इज टू फास्ट एंड इट स्टिल रन मैम हाउ मेनी फ्रेम्स यू हैव क्लिक हाउ मेनी पिक्चर्स यू हैव क्लिक फॉर योर वीडियो इट्स अबाउट फोर्टीन ओनली मैम वन फोर एक्चुअली यू you have to click more pictures for you know smooth run of your movie and uh, what uh, you can adjust your are you playing something no 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 this is uh, one of the other person who have created the video is playing so okay. just pause for a minute we'll answer this question and then we will uh, see the video can i share my screen uh, okay yes uh, sir please uh, stop the screen share once you can share after this question yeah so uh, this is the uh, speed limit you can uh, adjust your speed i would recommend to set on one and i would also recommend to click more frames for the video because uh, if you click less frame it will go fast so click more frames more click uh, for a particular uh, if you uh, click uh, at least two pictures that particular frame it will go slow so uh, and uh, speed uh, you will set seconds one second for frame so okay ma'am one more query ma'am one yes. more query another now when i started recording my this thing my sound okay voice at that time will all these uh, pictures remain still or will they move also can you repeat Hello? your question uh when the recording is done ma'am for the sound for the voice yes will like are the pictures mm -hmm. are the pictures uh, will they have to run or will they remain still but in my case they also run that's why the speed can is you can fun. you can you uh, share your screen okay let me check ma'am yeah i'm not able to hear any sound you is there any sound with the video in Uh, ma'am is there any sound with the video actually i couldn't hear any video like it's so not I, there ma'am i i yeah i i like i recorded it but i do not know it's not there okay i'll record it again ma'am and i'll share you there. thank you ma'am
uh, here is one question how to change the audio as the first one couldn't match with the moving picture so i am sharing my screen uh so here is a option of audio by clicking on this you can get the option to delete audio so you can delete your recorded audio by using this feature Uh, process of saving videos okay yeah uh when you click on your project you will get the option of sharing when you click on uh, sharing share you will get the various option to share or save your video here you can see the save video option when you click on this option your uh, video will be saved in your phone gallery so you can save your uh, video in mp4 format in your phone gallery and you can directly share your video link by via various platform whatsapp facebook gmail and you can directly save your video in your phone gallery Uh, not able to add audio are you adding external audio or recorded audio ha uh, we cannot add any external music uh, sound or audio with the video because uh, uh, this feature is not available with free version we are using free version so we cannot if we if we are using free version we cannot add any external sound we have to record sound then only we can add with the video
so now if uh, we no we have no further queries and we are also moving towards the end of this session i will be sharing uh, one of the link of google form after this session only on the whatsapp group so that you can upload your assignments don't be in hurry create some good e content and then only upload you have to upload four assignments and one is out of them is uh, the oer certificate and three the any of the outcomes of the e content which you have developed during the program i have observed on the whatsapp that you are sharing quiver files and other files which are not created using uh, stop motion or the apps which have been demonstrated during the program so please share the e content which are developed using these tools and during the programs we can easily make out what you have shared and how it has been created so please obey uh, to the rules so that uh, we we are also in a uh, position to mark your uh, assignments and uh, at the end we can uh, provide the certificate so be careful about all these uh, uh, points now we will wind up this session if you have no further queries but still if you ra uh, raise some query during uh, the coming times the reference video has been shared in the whatsapp group and in the chat box you can use that or you can ask directly on the whatsapp we will be able we will be there to answer you isn't it and now we will come back since we are winding up 5 minutes earlier today we will come back at 155 please come back at 155 because after at 2 o'clock we will be going into five different sessions these will be subject specific sessions languages mathematics science physics and chemistry science bio and science bio or science physics and chemistry and social sciences so we will be uh, getting into different rooms for discussing for seeing for uh, uh, knowing more about the subject specific tools so please join on time otherwise you will miss the beginning and then it will be difficult for you yourself to join the proper group which you want to join so on this uh, this is the reason we are uh, uh, closing the session 5 minutes earlier so that you all can join at 155 sharp and we can start the session on time and you have more time to deal with all the subject specific uh, tools that's it for now uh, now i'd also like to formally thank dr prachi for the this lovely session which is very simple as well as very very useful to all the teachers and uh, you can also uh, see the results in the chat box also and on the whatsapp group they are sharing beautiful videos some of the teachers have shared very nice videos which have been created during the session only so it itself is an achievement for a speaker that everybody has listened to the speaker and have tried to attempt the uh, task which has been given by the expert so thank you prachi ma'am for this lovely session and thanks to all the participants for being with us uh, during the session please join at 155 sharp so that we can start the session on time